here's your last one. So I'm going to pull out four numbers, and this time I'm going to tell you all four numbers before you have to write anything, so you'll know the numbers ahead of time. Okay? And you can decide where they go once you see how big they are. Does that make sense? Okay, here are your four numbers. The first number that I pull out is A. The second one is B and C and D. Now, you probably want to know something more about those numbers. A is greater than B. B is greater than C. And C is greater than D. So this is your smallest number, largest. Where would you want to put them? Okay, Michael and Justin have this arrangement. Correct me if I'm wrong, gentlemen. Is that what you wrote? Yeah. Okay. Raise your hand if you got that same answer. Would there be anything else that could work besides that? Kenny? Um, BD times AC. BD times AC. Is that the same or different? Will those two give the same answer or different answers? What do you think, Kyle? Do you think this one's lesser than that? Mm -hmm. So this problem is more than that problem here. Okay. Let's assume you're right. I don't know. But let's assume that this is the best possible thing I could do. Is there any other way to do the best possible thing? Julia? B, C, and A, D. B what? C, and A, D. Four. Would those two be equal? Yeah. yeah. Would they be equal 100% of the time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you think yes, stand right along here. And if you think no, stand here. Yes, they're going to be the same 100% of the time. No, sometimes they'll be equal. So I want a gap in the middle. Wow, unanimous. Everyone thinks those two will always generate the same thing I've ever seen. Okay? Come back to your seats, please.